This is Smallsy Surgery. What do you see when you look at me? It's too late to start over. They're going to war with me. Nine seconds. That's what I'll give you to decide your fate. Antoine, great to see you, mate. Thank you for your time. Of course, man. Um, congratulations on the movie. Wow. I don't, I don't even know where to start, but I, I will start with the obvious. Did you just choose Sicily because you wanted an Italian little downtime? Because uh, what, yeah, a, what I mean, a great part I'm, of the world to make a movie, right? I just wanted to relax a little bit, man. Some pasta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, what a great part. What a, what a great part of the, the world to blow shit up. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Can I actually? I uh, you've made so you've made so many films. You've blown so many things up as a director. Are there parts of the world that it's easier to get permission to blow things up than say other parts? I guess what I'm asking is: is there countries that the rules they're a little more relaxed, as you would say? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. They're all you know. It's 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 it's, it's kind of intense now. Obviously, you know what I mean with sure. the safety and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's tricky, you know. Okay, so basically, it's it's hard to blow shit up anywhere. It's always a lot of safety people around. Absolutely, yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Hey, yeah. um, do you want to maybe uh pick up for people where Equalizer three, where the story takes off, where we see Denzel's character now? Yeah, so he's in Sicily, uh, trying to right a wrong that's, that's taking place, and he finds himself uh, uh, reluctantly staying there uh, in a small town in the Mafia coast called uh, uh, Atrani. Uh, in our film, it's called uh, Altamonte. And uh, he, he discovers people who need his help. He just wants to leave, but he can't. Oh, he can't, can't walk away. He can never walk away from people who need his help. Um, how, how are you, you going? Um, obviously, you've done interviews before and the, the press junket days, you've always been involved. I would imagine you've, you've never done more interviews uh, for a film than maybe this one, am I right? You're right. <laughs> hey, man. Just, are you are you are you enjoy are you enjoying it? Because of people who may not know, like the writer strike and and actors yeah. are, are standing down in solidarity and they're not working and and you're here literally carrying the project. The project is on your shoulders and you're doing a great job. I, I enjoy it, man. I, you know what I enjoy the most? Like I, I was just saying, I get to see people I haven't seen in a while mm-hmm. to see you guys, you know, over years and things like that. Yeah, just to talk about the movie. So yeah, yeah. I enjoy that. Part. And is there anything else you'd like to say? I mean, while you have the floor, is there anything, you know, you? I mean, you're, you're, you're obviously great at what you do. You, you direct people daily. Is there something in the press junket world that you're like, you know what, we need to change. I don't like this. Let This is your this is your chance. Here's your moment to shine. Yeah, but it won't happen, though. It would be great <laughs> if you have you guys in the room again like we used oh to. Oh, my do, God. You know? You're telling me. You are telling well, me the, the good old days of being in the room. Um, obviously, the, the franchise is so... I, I'm running out of time, but I wanted to ask you quickly. The third movie, uh, people love it. People love Denzel. What do you think of, about the story or him or just the whole project coming together that do you think the fans have, have loved the most over the years? They love seeing Denzel play Robert McCall. Mm. He's an interesting character. And I think people, they, they love seeing him deliver justice to bad guys, you know? Yeah. Um, people want justice. And, and no secret, uh, Denzel is, is not the spring chicken he used to be. Uh, any injuries from set? Uh, did he hurt himself? No, no. Was, no. All good? No, no. Just some, some swollen knees with ice on it from me and Denzel from walking up the steps. Oh, let me. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm half your age, and I still can't walk downstairs properly. So you know that's that's normal. Don't you worry about that. Knees. Who, who whose knees do work, sir? Whose knees do work? Hey, seven hundred steps in that place. You, your knees will. You'll feel it. Crazy. Hey, congratulations on the film, sir. Thanks so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good you. Take care. Smallsy surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.